Let's hear now from a person who used to work on the Gilgo Beach case. Joining us now from Suffolk County is the former police commissioner and district attorney, Timothy Sini. Timothy, thanks for making the time for us today. He's joining us now by phone. You know, earlier we heard DA Tierney say that investigators ID'd the suspect, um, Hewerman, as a suspect actually in March of last year. Can you tell us whether or not if he was a suspect during your time in office as well? I don't go into any details about uh, investigation that has not been publicly released uh, in open court today. Um, I will say that investigation um, has been going on at an intense level for, for several years, uh, and it's just it's so satisfying to see that this case has now been uh, charged and and brought into this next chapter where now the DA's office needs to focus on securing justice uh, in the courtroom. Uh, and it'll be interesting to see if the defendant, uh, uh, the people to uh, go to trial and, and, and test their evidence in court. And uh, I'm confident that at the end of the day, uh, although the defendant is entitled to the presumption of innocence, I'm confident that the people will prevail and, and prove this case beyond a reasonable doubt. Given your experience in the case, also just in law enforcement and also at the DA's office, um, DA Tierney also mentioned today that he would have liked to keep this task force together and continue this investigation, but he alluded to the fact that making the arrest now was important. What do you think was behind that? Take a dangerous person off the streets as, as soon as uh, possible. I mean, clearly you have to develop enough evidence to have for the arrest, but you also want to make sure uh, you're going to be able to prove that case uh, beyond a reasonable doubt. And your ability to collect evidence regarding an individual uh, is hampered when it becomes public and when the person is arrested. So it's a balancing act between taking someone off the street as soon as possible, but ensuring that you obtain enough evidence to, to prove that person's guilt uh, in a court of law. What do you think made this case so tough to crack? The victims, uh, unfortunately, uh, went missing and were, were murdered uh, some time ago. You know, we're talking about uh, four victims. Uh, the dates of um, so 2007, 2009, 2010. Uh, and the, the other issue is, when I came in, and first being um, with, with leading the investigation, you know, the investigation was in disarray. You had a police commissioner, and a, and a district attorney who were publicly fighting about different theories regarding the case. Uh, you had a, a district attorney and a, and a chief of department actively blocking the FBI from assisting. Uh, and you had certain uh, investigative tasks that were not done uh, when they should have been done. And so there was a lot of catch up to do, and that's exactly what we did. Uh, and I'm so I'm so satisfied to see that this was brought across the, the finish line. Rex Heerman has been charged with three murders. He's also the prime suspect in a fourth. But there have been other people in this case, other victims in this case, included in the Gilgo Beach murders. Do you think that there are more suspects? Comment on that. Uh, I will reiterate what was said in open court that uh, I will, I will. the uh, or as they are commonly referred to. Um, the defendant is the prime suspect uh, in that case, and I suspect that that case will be charged uh, in short order. Uh, and uh, obviously the investigation continues with, re with respect to the, to the other victims. Former Suffolk County Police Commissioner and District Attorney Timothy Sini, thanks for joining us. Our coverage of this breaking news is just getting started, and our team of reporters will continue working to bring you new details on every angle right here on CBS2 and also streaming on CBS News New York.